Hi, good day everyone. My name is Geraldine and I'm speaking to you all the way from South Africa. Um, I didn't prepare anything uh, because I've had a burden from the Lord that it's been on my heart for a while now. And I believe that now is the time to release this uh, message that the Lord has put on my heart. With regards to, I don't know if you understand how witchcraft works. Witchcraft works in such a way that it controls a person's mind, emotions, mentally and physically. It can, if, if you have a spirit inside of you, it can actually make you believe that there's an illness there. Or, or, or prick you from the inside or whatever to make you believe that there's an illness there. The reason I'm telling you this is because a few years back um, I came back to South Africa because I've been going, I've been traveling between 2014 and 2020 between South Africa and the USA and the reason for that is because God has been teaching me on the personalities of the demonic uh, presence. Now I'm a feeler for those who do not know, I can feel demonic presence and because of the teaching God has given me, some I can make out, some are very close to each other but I eventually just rebuke them all for the ones that I'm feeling. But this, is not, this message is not about that. This message is about one year I came back and I happened to come back when it was the elections. On the month of election I came back. Now, I knew it was election, I knew I couldn't vote because I didn't register and all of that stuff, so it wasn't, you know, that I was going to vote or anything. I was allowed to vote or maybe I, I could vote and I didn't even know about it. But anyway, what the thing that happened to me is that during this month, the process of coming up towards the election, I was struggling to pray. Now, I warfare and I warfare early hours in the morning before the sun rises up. And I've been, and at that period, I was struggling. I would pray and fall asleep and practically wake up when the sun is up. And after a few, uh, a week or so, I was saying, Lord, what is going on? Why am I feeling like this? And God had to reveal to me the power of witchcraft in the air, dominating the people. And that week of the elections, it is much stronger. It dominates their mind, their decision making and their choices. And this is what the Lord had to reveal to me. Because this is why I couldn't pray. I couldn't be proactive in my, in my warfare. Because, and at that moment, I wasn't at the place where I'm now in my warfare. Then I was still learning. I was still a learner. And going through the process. So the reason for me telling you this, this is because, yes, there's petitions going out for the government regarding uh, the laws that's being imposed upon us whatever the situation might be. But in the end, even the word says, we do not fight each other, we fight in principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in hosts in high places. Now these demonic things are attached to these people making the rules, making the choices and the decisions on behalf of mankind. I personally had to feel, do on the job with the Lord of how it attached itself to me, how, how I acted out its character, and how it hopped off me into somebody else. And this was a spirit of anger. I just woke up one morning, I was angry, and as I got to the road, but I'm, I'm questioning, but why am I so angry? And then I crossed over, but then my car was in the road of the other side, and then I just felt this lift off, and the other guy on the opposite side, he was going crazy at me. That's when I understood how the witchcraft operates, how these spirits operate. So it's good and well that we are busy sending petitions out. It's good and well that we are standing and rebelling against government. But what I'm trying to come to you with, uh, the point I'm trying to drive here is this. We are fighting witchcraft when it comes to an, an election. We are fighting the control of witchcraft over mankind in the country, over their choices and over their decision making and imposing a spirit of fear into them that guides them and leads them into the decision that they take. So my suggestion and what I believe the Lord has put on my heart is this. I believe in South Africa and this year the election is on the 29th of May. So as of the 7th, and I ask you all to stand in agreement with me, take a part of this, 
and let's make a change. Let's get out of our bondage together. The government has had enough time to change, to do the right thing. It's time not to fight with weapons, not to fight with words, not to fight with actions, no. We fight in the spiritual realm because what manifests and becomes victorious in the spiritual realm must manifest in the natural, no matter how much corruption there is. It overrides all of that. So what I'm trying to say to you, what the Lord has put in my heart is this. From the 7th of May, we all start fasting. However you want to fast, that's your choice. We break it on the 27th of May, the evening, the Monday. We break it on that Monday, the evening. On the Tuesday, we just do praise and worship. Whether you want to do it with your family in your home, whether you want to go into a park and grab, go together, whether a concert wants to be made, wants to, be, wants to start up, do it. Because it's all about praise and worship and breaking the bondage and showing the enemy that we believe and we trust in our God that he will take us out of this bondage. The same way he took the Jews out of Egypt is the same way he's going to set us free here. The Egyptians didn't go fighting over. Yes, there was, um, the plagues were sent upon them that they didn't listen. But the moral of the thing is they adhered to what God said and God delivered so my advice to you, and I'm asking you to stand in prayer with me because I know I'll be warfaring. I'll be breaking down. And for those who knows how to go into the courtrooms of heaven and raise accusations against the accuser, my suggestion is do because I will be doing it as well. Now the other thing is that this, and when you break the fast, you break it on the 27th, the evening, the day before the, uh, the elections, there's going to be praise and worship. The day of the elections, praise and worship. And the day after the elections, praise and worship. Those three days, while you want to do it, is your plan. Whether you want to do it in a park, whether you want to do it as a group of family, whether you want to do it as a community, whether you want to do it as the body of Christ, it is entirely up to you. But it's about giving God the praise and the glory and the honor because He will avenge us. He will set us free from the bondage that the enemy has put us in. Now the other thing that arises that, that, that also came to my what the Lord put on my heart is that yes, we can sit and we can pray for a God-fearing government and we can do all this stuff and get the God-fearing person in the position. But we need to remember our man or woman of choice that God places there has to go and deal with another president in another country that is bound by demonic bondage that's been controlled by demonic bondage so this is another petition i'm bringing out to globally if ever there's a country that's going through an election that we stand in agreement with them now if another country goes into an election and we don't to stand and agree with them we don't have to fast but it's your choice if you want to it's a great thing do it but we can warfare with them in the spirit we can raise them up in the spirit and we can pray and pray for them and the day of the election we can all praise and worship the day before the of the election the day of the election the day after the election so i'm asking everybody around the world and south africa has their elections on the 29th of may that you will stand in agreement with us whether you want to fast with us on the 7th of May and start and break it on the 27th of May or not, it's entirely up to you. But stand in agreement with us. Stand in agreement with, with us in prayer, in the spirit and in the natural. But most of all, let us know where you are standing in agreement with, where you are standing in agreement with from, so that we too can return the favor and take this global world that God has given us dominion authority put it back in God fearing men and women's hands so God can rule and reign in and through them and show them how to govern the people so this is my prayer suggestion this is what the Lord has burdened me and this is what I believe is a time for now we're going to stand in prayer we're going to fast 
Those who want to fast with, with every other country when they're going through, it is your choice, it's your preference. But we can, from the day that they start their fasting, it's a 20-day fast, from the day they start their fasting, we can pray in the Spirit with them and raise them up for a, a, a God-fearing government. Because each government has to go deal with another president. And this is where the corruption then comes back in. So it needs to be cleaned out. God has given us dominion over the earth. Let us take dominion back and take it back by force. So I thank you for hearing me. And I hope that you will stand in agreement with me, with South Africa and with every other country. And that this is something that's going to be implemented worldwide. And this is not going to be a now thing, but it's going to be an ongoing thing. So we do not give the enemy a gap into dominating mankind. Because yes, some people are practicing witchcraft because they believe the lies that the enemy has told them. There's nothing we can do for that. But we can show them that the power of God supersedes the power of darkness. And this will make them question, who is the true living God? And this is how we keep mankind out of hell. Because the enemy, you know, wants his own little dominion. So I thank you for hearing me and I bless you. And uh, go in peace. And I hope that you will join us. Join me in fasting and prayer. And um, take it, let's see what happens. This is 2020. Four. Let's make a difference and let's make a difference together as God's people on the earth. Let's take dominion and authority back and let God rule. It is his rightful place on this earth. I thank you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Bye. I thank you, Lord, and I bless you. I just want to pray, sorry. I thank you, Lord, and I bless you that you have burdened me with this and I've released it now. And I pray, God, that you will speak to your people. The people who need to hear this will hear this message. And they will run with it, my Heavenly Father. And that we will see victory. Our days of bondage is at an end, my Heavenly Father. And I thank you and I bless you for standing in agreement with us. Because I know you will be behind us all the way. And I thank you, my God, for what you are going to do in South Africa and worldwide to take back the government to be in full control by you, my Heavenly Father. I thank you and I bless you. I give all the praise, the glory and the honor that's eternally due to you. In Jesus' name I pray. And I thank you for each and every one year that you will give them something to think about, my Heavenly Father, that they will ponder it on upon it, my Heavenly Father. Every church worldwide, my Heavenly Father, will partake in this, my Heavenly Father, and see and show the enemy what you will do for us. I thank you and I bless you and I give all the praise, honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen.